I earned my undergraduate degree in animal science from UC Davis. I then went on to earn a master's degree also in animal science from the University of Idaho. And from there I went to Colorado State University to earn my PhD in physiology with the Animal Reproduction and Biotechnology Group. Many people have asked me over the years how I got into this field. Well, much of what we do in the IVF lab today came from research in the animal field. As I was finishing graduate school and wondering what I wanted to do when I grew up, human IVF was rapidly evolving. I saw an opportunity to use the laboratory skills that I loved to help people have a family, and so I thought I would give it a try. I interviewed with doctors Jacobson, Galen, and Wexstein in 1989, and I promised myself at that time that I would only do this until it wasn't fun and it wasn't challenging anymore. Twenty-five years later, I'm happy to say that it is still fun and it is still challenging. I've been so fortunate to be part of an amazing team at Reproductive Science Center who work tirelessly to help fulfill our patients' dreams of having a family. One of my most memorable experiences was talking with my very first IVF patient. She knew I was the new lab director, and when she asked me if I had ever done this before, I couldn't lie, so I had to tell her no. I told her how I used to drive catheters loaded with cow embryos down a dirt road in my VW Bug from the lab to the farm, and most of those cows got pregnant. So I thought, if we're doing it in a sterile operating room next to a sterile laboratory, she ought to get pregnant too. I will never forget Dr. Wexstein calling me on Thanksgiving Day in 1990 to let me know that she was pregnant, and she went on to deliver twin boys. And every Thanksgiving since then, I think about that day, and I'm so grateful for this experience of a lifetime. My favorite part of the day is coming into the lab early in the morning before the day gets too busy and looking at all of the embryos. Even after all of these years, it is so incredible to watch the process and to get to be a part of the most important part of these patients' journeys. I also love to watch the joy a new embryologist feels after experiencing their first successful embryo transfer, or ICSI, or embryo thaw. We have seen so many changes in the lab in the last 25 years, including ICSI, vitrification, pre-implantation genetic testing, and egg freezing, and we've designed our new facility to take us through the next 25 years. Our excellent success rates, committed embryology team, and beautiful new facility are just three of the reasons why I feel a reproductive science center is the best place for you to start your family and I invite you to watch our video on demystifying the IVF lab. I hope you find the IVF lab as magical and exciting as I do.